Hello and welcome to this video presentation from the One Stop Sat Shop and buymystuff.co.uk Today we'll be looking at our 20mm delay fuse kit. As you can see we have a little kit here with 10 different packets of fuses. Each packet has 10 fuses giving a total of 100 fuses. This particular kit does represent good value for money when you compare its cost to that of purchasing individual values separately. Now, as I said, it comes in this plastic case which you may or may not decide to use. We can open it from behind, like so. And what I'll do is I'll show you um, all of the different values that you get in the kit. The lowest value is 1 amp, then 1.25 amps, then 1.6 amps, then 2 amps, then 2.5 amps, then 3.15 amp, then 4 amps, then 5 amps, 6.3 amps, and finally 10 amps. These particular values are probably the most commonly used fuse values you'll find in electrical appliances with emphasis probably on the 2.5 and 3.15 amps. The fuses in question are 20mm delay types and that means they're also known as anti-surge fuses or slow blow. We may have heard these terms before. They're most commonly connected in the mains input circuit of many electrical appliances such as televisions, hi-fis, DVD players etc but can be used in many many applications. The fuse is at a delay type because it will withstand the inrush current which is often present when an appliance is switched on. The fuse is designed only to fail when there is a sustained excess current through the fuse. What this means is that you can't really use fast blow fuses to replace this type of fuse. A fast blow fuse will more than likely fail if you use it in place of a delay fuse. You can tell the difference between a fast blow fuse and a delay fuse by looking at the cap of the fuse. And you'll find that you'll either have a T symbol before the value or an F symbol. The T symbol means delay. This T symbol can actually be shown or seen on the packet of each of these different values. You can see the T symbol there. So it's quite important that you do use the uh, correct type of fuse. Putting a T fuse in place of an F is probably more acceptable, but it does mean that it may take longer to fail in the event of an overload. I've just opened one of the cardboard packets, as you can see. They are resealable, and each one has 10 different glass fuses present inside. They are 20 millimetres in length and 5 millimetres in diameter, commonly referred to as a 20 millimetre fuse. It is by far the most common type of fuse uh, that's currently in use in the electrical appliances and uh, you will find many, many uses for, for this particular type of fuse. The other specification that might be worth mentioning is the voltage rating of the fuse. These fuses are rated at 250 volts AC. The voltage rating of the fuse sometimes does cause a little confusion, but basically uh, the voltage rating of a fuse is the maximum voltage that can be applied between the two ends without causing a sustained arc. Therefore, when the fuse fails, it will fail quickly in the event of an overload. If the voltage applied between the end caps was considerably more than 250 volts, then an arc may occur and the fuse will take longer to fail. But with the rating of 250 volts AC, it uh, can safely be used on any electrical appliance. It can also be used for DC applications as well, up to 250 volts, although delay fuses are slightly less common in DC applications. So that's uh, all of the fuses there. 10 packets. 10 values in each packet, 10 fuses in each packet, giving a total of 100 20mm by 5mm delay fuses. Okay, so thank you for watching this demonstration.